I just finished listening to the second developer update livestream that focused on class balance and item changes coming next week with the release of season 2 for Diablo 4. In general, I believe they presented positive changes for the game, however I still do have some concerns, especially with the new resistance system. Now, resistance is definitely needing an overhaul, I don't think anyone can argue about that. Currently, resistances are basically useless, no one wants them in their gear, armor does what resistances are supposed to do, only much better. Therefore, I 100% agree with the decision of changing resistances, just maybe in a slightly different way. During tonight's livestream, they revealed that armor will contribute much less to the reduction of magic damage, making resistances basically a necessity for late and endgame content. They also said that certain pieces of gear, such as rings and amulets, will have some resistance to all elements on them, but in order to get to the resistance cap of 70% and 85% in some rare cases, we we'll have to manage our gear pieces that have resistances for a specific type of element as a stat, similarly to a puzzle, in order to have enough specific resistances. Now, the problems I have are with this puzzling. Based on what they said on stream, gathering extra specific resistance stats, other than or resist, will be needed for high level nightmare dungeons and other endgame activities, not just bosses. This means that certain pieces of gear can be useless just because they have the wrong resistance affix. Let's say you're already capped on poison resist when a poison resist ring drops for you. And that ring would be perfect for you in terms of other stats except for the poison resist. Now you could spend your reroll on that affix but you might not have the luxury to do so, because you have to use it on something else, making the overpowered new ring useless. Is this fun in terms of gameplay? I don't think so. Another problem might be the resistance requirements for bosses. Developers said on multiple occasions that you'll be required to have different resistance stats for different endgame bosses. Does that mean that you'll be forced to have a Duria gear for poison resist or maybe a lightning resist gear for lightning boss Grigoar or whatever he's called? If the resistance requirements for these fights are too high, we may have to farm specific gear for these bosses, which in and of itself may be acceptable, but since the game still lacks a wardrobe or gear swap feature, Switching between those sets might be very finicky. Is this fun in terms of gameplay? I don't think so. Lastly, is this going to upset the class balance? I realize that intelligence characters were kind of lackluster in the first season, but with the changes to resistances, are they going to be too overpowered? Don't get me wrong, I would like to see a buff to the sorcerers for example, but uh, isn't this too much? I really hope that we don't fall on the other side of the horse this time and see 90% of players only play sorcerers and necros because they inherently get resistance from their main stat. Is this fun in terms of gameplay? I don't think so. How about you? Do you have any concerns about the changes to the game that were discussed on the live stream? Do you think that all the resistance updates are correct? Do you think this was a clickbait video? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.